everybody i just got pulled to my table i wasn't exactly ready i was about to make some some food i was like no i'm gonna just do this reading um look at what ooh, what we popped up to such a fitting day ptsd um could be an aquarius here bilingual biracial mental health worker or um I feel a departed loved one already coming in. This wasn't even supposed to be one. Dating courtship. Hmm. Shout out to my friend Teddy. <laughs> uh, he unfortunately took his life. He did suffer from PTSD. Um, I heard his name loudly. Might be your name too. I just heard Teddy in general, and, you know, he was a soldier, so that's fitting. I think he just popped in to say hello. I think um, soldiers in general, not just my friend Teddy, um, if you are a mental health worker for soldiers, or if you have some kind of activism here, they're thanking you. Thank you. It doesn't matter, you know, there's a lot of things that people say about suicide, but they do go be at peace. And it is an illness like cancer in God's eyes. When the mind can no longer properly care or function and the mind becomes a trap. So toxic and so devastating that it's a mercy kill to, them own, to their own selves. To be that riddled with PTSD untreated most of the time um sometimes they go off meds that's part of the mental illness too they just stop taking it they think they're better whatever happened here like they're acknowledging that it's not i mean it is a suicide but it's not it's a, something that they are forgiven for there is a special place for soldiers there is special honors for soldiers and there is special consideration for what they do endure so many people come home from war and they fall to religion as help and it really does help but there is a lot in there about murder and that is very damaging to a soul in the point of war it's kill or be killed don't you also have the right to defend yourself war is never something that is condoned um, but man has war mostly in God's name more than any other cause. So, okay, who came to visit you in this reading? My little friend Sammy. <laughs> Sorry, Sammy, it scared you off. But it's like, they are pardoned. I think what they're acknowledging here is there has been exceptional growth for mental health as far as soldiers, even from Vietnam to now or World War II to now. You know, we, we have a lot of r room to go. We have to keep going and we have to keep growing and we have to do better. And they're acknowledging don't give up. Every life matters. Don't give up. So we're going to just put that up in honor of everybody who took their life, unfortunately, from PTSD due to war um, or any traumatic situation. We're honoring you in the background here. I don't feel like that's what this whole um, reading is about because dating and courtship popped. I just feel like this was not uh, it is Memorial Day. So let's honor those who served our country and suffered for it. They all suffer for it in a way. Nobody comes home from war with clean hands and a clean soul. All right, so we have dating and courtship. So you might have started dating someone. Um, maybe you're trying to bring the spark back in a relationship or you're single, starting to mingle. <laughs> Boss energy, owning your space, giving off vibes. Your energy introduces you before you even speak. You are very um, open to love, I feel, but I think 
you have an intimidating energy or you're intimidated by somebody's energy you might want to ask them out on a date but they have this boss energy or vice versa somebody could want to ask you on a date but you're a bit intimidating Ooh, slutty energy sex party thought selling yourself short displaying yourself self-pleasuring or hooked on sex with each other <laughs> okay so this let me bring it down so you can see i made this deck out of stickers or just in general that i had but you could be uh, in a friends with benefits or you could date someone and it's just like um getting like plenty of fish like you're just on apps to fuck basically <laughs> sorry there's no like <laughs> nice way to say that but maybe you just don't this has been your energy for a bit or this is someone's energy what is the slutty energy and if you're not like giving your body out here maybe you're just going on too many dates you're like i'm filling out my schedule with dates because I just want to meet the one. But you might not actually be, you know, sleeping with these people, but you're giving your time to the wrong people instead of sitting back and waiting till you feel a spark with someone and, and making a date then. You're just like filling your plate. It could be that as well. Family oriented, loyal, hardworking, blue collar, fire signs, building your own empire, needing wide open space. You're a free spirit. Yo. I literally have a Yellowstone shirt on right now. <laughs> like the TV show. <laughs> um, that's funny. Um, there might be... You should watch that show. Everybody needs to check that show out. It's like crack. You'll be addicted for a minute. If you like, like true crime slash... I mean, it's not true because it's a TV show, but it's like crime in the crime family. But it's like a little mix of SOA with a little mix of like a presidential show or something. I don't know how to explain it. Also with some cowboy shit. <laughs> this is a free spirit. So somebody could be very, very single here. Um, they're looking for something. They want a family. We have mixed families, family reunion. So somebody, school teacher, I'm getting a feminine energy. But I kind of have two feminines on the table. There's somebody that's like very like will give you what. All right. If you're a divine masculine, let me just talk to you for a minute. Divine feminines don't go anywhere because I want to say your side of it too. It's collective. I'm going to say both. So basically you got this chick, dude, whatever, divine masculine. They'll like suck your D in public. They'll like, they're fucking freaky. Freaky, freaky. <laughs> like, I don't know how else to describe it. But they like don't have much self-respect and like they'll they'll fuck you in an hour of meeting you they don't care they have the, like this is a gypsy spirit i'm not judging i'm not saying anything wrong with that i'm just describing two very different energies here so you have somebody that like is free spirit if they want to do it they do it they probably travel a lot this could be you or somebody like you're just like, ah, balls to the wall, let's do this. And then there's this, like, blue-collar work hard. Somebody who is, like, the perfect wife, perfect mom, teaches your kids, like, I don't know why. I don't think this person is churchy, but they come off churchy. So you got someone who's, like, massively ride your D in public, party animal, hello, guys, uh, creature. And then you have this sweet, loving you could have a side piece and a wife here for some of you. I'm not going to lie. I don't really like getting into that energy. Oh, guys. Uh, <laughs> do you need some attention? Excuse me, baby. Was in the middle of a reading, my love. Can you at least look at us? If you're going to cut in, can we see your cute face, please? Gaia. What is it, girl? Do you have something to tell them? Look, she's holding this down. The family with kids. Like, she's like, pick the sweet one. Okay? Fuck this hoe for show. Sure. I'm covering your cards. <laughs> Gaia has spoken. Gaia has spoken. Right, guys? Uh, 
she is shedding guys so she's very itchy also Sammy and her sometimes get along and sometimes don't and I feel like today is a day they're not getting along <laughs> secret life of pets here rebuilding life career recovery self help losing out get, oh, losing weight sorry getting in shape summer it is summer June July August could be relevant changing your mindset it's like you're getting in shape or someone here is getting their body in shape um, getting their life right over the summer will be transformative there. It might be if you come in, step out of like player energy, not settling down and step into, look at your fur is all the way up there, kitty. I just vacuumed. Oh my goodness. My fur babies. I'm going to have to vacuum again. I'm obsessed. <sighs> just wanted my house to stay clean. <laughs> but I think most of you have have transformed because of a family because you want a family or you're feeling it's coming silly playful not being serious goofing off yeah so you're basically fucking around with someone having a hot girl hot boy summer but it isn't very substantial oh my god there's that transformation new birth like I think Spirit's saying, like, do you just want to fuck around all summer and, like, just have it be about sex and, like, you're going to still have the same problems? Like, you're bored with this kind of life. But somebody is very different to your style, your free spirit. They're, like, very structured, very organized. But don't think that those people can't bend and change when they find the right person. These kind of people, I think Divine Masculine, what you're not realizing is they adapt to the environment because they're nurturing. So if you take them out of a home and say you're on the road all the time, they're going to make that hotel room, your freaking bus, your airplane, nurturing. Like as in everybody's Everybody's going to have their stuff packed. Nobody's going to forget anything in their rooms. The kids are coming with you. They're going to, like, organize like they would a home. I think what scares you is the fact that you may like that you want that. Or it makes you uncomfortable to be realizing that you are looking more at family and not just fucking for some of you. All right, Divine Feminines. I think that you don't want to become like somebody's Tinder pick. Maybe you were in this energy of like, I'm going to build myself. I'm focusing on myself. I just gonna wa I just want to fuck around this summer. If I find someone, uh, I'm just going to, you know, do what I got to do. But I don't want a relationship. And I think you're going to meet someone this summer that changes your mind. And I think you're either that's going to happen or you're just going to get sick of this energy or you already are sick of just being like a temporary thing. Like you, it might have been fun. You might have been able to focus on work. But I think some of you are turning into wanting a partner and some of you over this summer are going to step into that mind space when you meet someone. So, baby Gaia is not going to move, so let me see if I can work around her. I won't get you guys, uh, the cards might fall on you, though. Just wanted to pop. So, yeah, I think you're coming into a twin flame union, or you're transforming for this twin flame. So, man or woman, divine feminine, divine masculine, I think you are coming out of Let's just fuck around and find out energy. And, like, I want to find out now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm shuffling off to the side because big butt here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Time out. Counseling, scorn, needing to process. Okay, some of you are stepping away from a family. Um, frustrated, angry, toxic energy. All right, so let me rewind just a little bit. Some of you already have a family. It's fucking toxic. It's a shit show. 
it's not going well right now and you're separating for the summer and you're embracing the summer and you might just have random hookups because you are angry you are frustrated you could have got cheated on you could just be angry um that you're in this situation your heart is hurting you're over love you could be getting divorced there's this energy i'm sorry i'm getting cat hair bombed i'm sorry kitty I'm looking at these trees and I'm channeling. I don't know if you can, if I can zoom in a bit. See how they're swaying? It's like ominous and like, trees are strong and sturdy and they won't break, but they do sway when the storm comes. And I think in this relationship,